clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, what exactly are these things you're sending me after? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Eh, uh, fine. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. Kenzie, is it safe to touch? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. Finally, a song I like. Come on, Kinsey, sing along. No, I don't think so. Come on, please, Kinsey. You can be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. Come on, your turn, Kinsey. And you know it ain't fiction. No. Kinsey, you're gonna sing for your commander-in-chief. Fuck that. That could have been a real bonding experience. Picking up another. This data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. I'm afraid to ask, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Okay. That actually made some kind of sense. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope, you lost me again. Ugh, it's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. See, that's all you needed to say. Do I need more than three of these things? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data clumps... Ugh. Clusters. Okay, clusters. If they're so useful, why aren't Zinyak's people scooping them up? Why would they need them? To make his people stronger or something? Look, you're the one who said they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! But if he just leaves them lying around, then... Eh, never mind. I'll just accept this and move on. Probably better that way. <laughs> Zinyak destroyed my apartment? Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Just wish I could have saved my shoes. That should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Oh, this feels amazing. Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. Okay, what do I do now? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? How do you think I'm gonna jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. 
So I can climb walls now? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. And now... Whoa! <laughs> this time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. The lovely Jane Valderra. I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be joking. Just try it. Nice. But I want to go bigger with this. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Let's do it. See? You did it! As Juliet. If I profane... I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck. Should I be worried about who set this race up? I don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. Oh, one more time, Kinsey? <sighs> it means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Yeah, that actually makes sense. It did the first time you said it, too. Keep saying shit that I understand, and I'll buy you a pony. Lies. ...that they must use in prayer. Then, dear Sam, lips do what hands do. Faith. Saints, do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Thank you, Jane. Ravishing as always. Stay tuned, faithful listener. More classic music and literature is coming your way. It looks like these hotspots are protected by shield generators. Getting near them will be tricky, but you'll have to shut down each one before you can take out the main hub, which, of course, is protected by even more Zin. So, good luck with that. Uh, I'm here to define hotspot, Kinsey. Basically a giant workstation. A system like the simulation you're in probably requires constant maintenance, which is what these seem to be for. Tell me there's only one of these. Of course not. Jesus, that thing is big. Focus on the shield generators, otherwise you'll never get to the main console. Was it too much for you?
I'm up for more. With the shield down, you can get to the console at the base of the structure. Yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. Strange readings close to you. Okay, fiery rain can't be a good sign. What the fuck is he? I don't know, but it isn't reading like a normal sin. I think, I think you can integrate your code with it. And that's supposed to mean what? It means once you take him down, get close enough, and I think you can absorb him. Yeah, because I want that thing crawling around in me. Yes, bravo. Perhaps my wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh, that can't be good. Eh, yeah, fuck him, Kinsey. How about setting up one of those training rooms for me? I think I can do that. So what did I get? Teleportation? Laser vision? Bone claws? Whoa. Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. That sounds awesome! Let me load up a few targets from the simulation for you. Wait, are you putting in guys who will try to kill me? Don't worry, these are safe programs. You can't die from them. I'm always on when it counts.
Um, why is there a wall here? It looks like data clusters can be hidden inside walls. Use your blast to knock them out. Shit! Hell of an entrance there, guy. I'll see if I can help with Okay, you should be able to recover from being knocked back now. It looks like Zinyak added the shield to the warden cup. I guess he pissed him off. It's getting to be a habit. So how do I beat this shield? You'll need something more powerful than a weapon. So use your superpowers to deactivate the shield for a short time. Then you can shoot him. That works pretty well, though the real thing might be a bit tougher. <laughs> 